how do I go from here at 375 knots, a couple hundred feet off the ground to landing with the landing score over 1.1 million? I'll show you, coming up. Hey, 7-4 crew, welcome back. If you don't know me, my name's Kelsey. I'm a 747 pilot. My channel, 7-4 Gear, is all about aviation. In my last flight sim video, I said I wanted to get a score over a million, and I thought I was gonna just take a picture of it, but then a friend of mine said, that doesn't count. You have to make a video of it. So uh, I loaded up everything here. I got the computer on, ready to go, and we're gonna see if I can get to a million. But I was thinking about it, because that last video I did, it took so long for each landing, I thought, well, I'm just gonna go as fast as I can go to as late as I can go, and then throw everything out and see if I can get a million that way. Be a lot more fun at least. All right, let's get into it. So th there's only one other one uh, for landing on the 7.4 for this landing challenge. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember where it was, but it's here. This is where it's at. I think it said Strong Crossman, which I learned in that last video uh, to use my rudder for the for the correction there. So I'm just gonna go as late as I can go, as fast as I can go, and try to throw out everything. And um, we'll see how fast I can get up to and how, how good of a score we can get. Let's go ahead and do this here. Um, there we go. So I pre-configured all the buttons on the throttle and the yoke here, so that way I can just throw out everything in the last minute. That is way too much. So what I'm gonna do is just head for the runway and uh, go as quickly as I can and see how late I can throw out everything. There is something on these planes called load relief. Uh, not all planes have them, but some planes do. And what that basically means is, and again, this doesn't apply for all planes and you should never ever do this, but but what it basically means is you can throw out all, all your flaps and then at the specific speed that's allowed to go, it will, uh, it will then push out everything. All right, let's pull back here. And put out everything, speed brakes, flaps, and gear. Doesn't, doesn't look like the gear's coming out. Gear. All right, so the flaps are slowly coming out, but the gear is not coming out. Gear? 50, 40, 30, 20. That gear is not out. 10. Well, I, I tried. I tried to do the landing gear. That's, okay. So I was talking about load relief. Load relief works for flaps. For gear, it doesn't matter. I mean, there's speeds. You have a speed for for gear extension and gear retraction. Some planes, it's the same speed. Um, and you also have a speed for with the gear being down, how fast you can go. So I don't know if there's something in here which thinks that the gear will only go down at a selected speed, but uh, on Boeing, there's a lever. If you know, if you've, you've seen it. There's a lever, you just push it down and it will go down. Uh, once you push it down, it'll go down uh, whether it's ready to or not. And uh, what will end up happening, they'll just end up ripping the doors off. So uh, I'm just going to put the gear down now and, the, and then do the uh, max auto brakes. I'm just going to get it out now. I will tell you, on the real plane, if you were to throw the gear out, get this thing straightened out. If you were to throw the gear out really early on, like what I'm doing here, this thing would not go very fast. But I'm going to see how good the people at Microsoft understand the aerodynamics of oh, 747 and 18 tires out there. We're going pretty fast. It's about what we were. I think we were like about 370 when I yanked it back last time. And there's a big thunderstorm going on, so if you hear thunder and lightning, that's what's happening. All right. That is too much. I haven't quite figured out all right, let's pull this back. Dump everything. Gear's already down. We got everything out. It's going to get towards the runway. It, the basics on the aerodynamics for most planes is if you're flying level and you throw out everything, gear flaps and the speed brakes, 
at level flight, it will, uh, well, that's too much. It will uh, slow down a lot. I mean, we're going way too fast to land, but. Oh, gear, uh, rudder, rudder. I keep forgetting this rudder trim to, to steer with. It's not, it's not in my muscle memory yet. I go back to flying next week, and uh, obviously there's no, the rudder trim is, is in the middle center pedestal. So, well, we landed. Wow. All right. I think that's about as low of a score as you could possibly ever get. 1396. Landing smoothness of one. Okay. Let's try this again. I want to do this and I want to try to get it to a million. Uh, because one, it takes a while. If you do it on the profile, they have you 160, 140. It takes like, it seems like two or three minutes for each landing. And this seems to go a, a lot faster, and it's a lot more fun, and it's something different, so. Um, anyway, it, as far as for the aerodynamics of plane works, if you're going on level flight, let's say you were low like this in real life, if you were at, uh, at level flight and you were to, um, ready to fly. If you were to do this in real life, it would slow down a lot. Uh, one, your, uh, I don't know that you'd be able to get this fast, honestly, with all the gear out. Uh, next time I go into the actual simulator, which I, I want to say soon, I'm going to look at my schedule. Um, I'll see if they'll let me go uh, after I've done all the training stuff. Sometimes if you have a little bit of time, they'll ask you if you want to do anything. And if they, uh, if I get everything done, then, then I'll try that. Let's see what we can do here. Straighten her out a little bit. No, nope, other way. Ooh, 400. What I'm doing is, is, and if you ever try this, you just have to keep it low, and I'm going right over this train station here, yanking everything back, and then I got everything set up with the auto brakes and the landing gear at the beginning, and then I pull everything back, speed brakes back, flaps back, and then I guess this is just letting it load relief configure on speed. So when it's able to do more flaps, it's doing it. Uh, you you will just have to keep the. 50, 40, 30, mm. 20, 10. Okay, that's better. Get on the center line. It's a tricky thing with this rudder. Is like you you can get it if you do too much, then it starts floating. But we ended off on the center. What's my score? Okay. That's not bad. Considering we were at 400 knots before. Okay. But that's not a million. So, uh, the landing spoon, this is what's killing me. All right, let's do this again. Anyways, if I get in the simulator, I'll, I will try this. Uh, sometimes they do a drill where you're on fire and they want to see how quickly you can get back to the airport. So if that's the case, if we have a cargo fire and they'll do it where everything's on fire and it's the other guys helping run checklists and you're flying just basically as quickly as you can to get the plane on the ground as quickly as you can, you do actually something kind of like this, which I personally enjoy because it's a challenge. It's not what we normally do. Um, and because normally you're just flying, you know, your standard profiles in and out of airports. How did it fly? Oh, they're not in it. Okay. So I kind of enjoy doing those things. All right, so I got it all the way maxed out. I got the gear down and the auto brakes to max. I just set up all these knobs in the in the settings so that way I could. Uh, I didn't have to go in and inside and outside of the inside and outside of the flight deck because uh, I figured when I was doing that in that last video, I was getting in and then getting out, and then I was being really high or whatever. Dude, we are going. I got this thing almost in the red. We're gonna be going fast. We got her all trimmed out. We got the gear down. There's no way I think in real life you would get. Damn. That you would get going this fast. 
train yard. Let's dump it. Oh, this is going to be a good one. This is it. This is it. Okay, get the rudder straightened out. I don't know if it's me or if it's the gears down. Okay, no, not yet, not yet. Yeah. It was a little hard, but that has to be close to a million, if not a million. The rudder becomes, this rudder trim at least, becomes hardly effective when the plane gets slow, which is how it works in real life. What? Halfway there? That's, I thought that was pretty good. Okay. What was it? Ground roll. Oh, I didn't land on the center line. Okay. The rest of it was good? Okay. I'm guessing based off of this, like what, 1.5 million is the most you can get? Let's do the same, continue. I just noticed this, 292 degrees at 25 knots. Really, Microsoft? Uh, most of you know, at the airports, they always report the winds in tenths of degrees, not to the 292, it would just be 290 at 25 knots, which again, for this runway, it's only 30 degrees. That's hardly a crosswind. I wonder if there's a different way to set this up. I can do it. Let's try this. Max it out, keep it down, rudder, max speed. You, you will, if you do try this uh, at, at your house, you do as you get the power up all the way, like I have, uh, you, you will find that it is, um, you kind of have to push over the nose to keep it from going up as it starts getting really, uh, it starts accelerating. Where are we at? 310. This nose turned up. Oh crap, I don't have it. I don't have it up all the way, whatever. It's no straight down. I didn't have it all the way, that's why we're not up to the 400. There's a train yard, let's dump it, dump it, dump it. All right. Everything's out. Let's line her up here. You will, have to, you will have to keep her over because if you let her actually fly up in the air, what's gonna happen is then you're gonna be too high and you'll be accelerating on your descent. So you, you'll have to just keep pushing nose pressure to get it over. Oh, this is looking good. All right, almost there. Almost there, almost there, almost there. A little early. Ooh, this is right down the middle. A little bit to the right. I almost made it on the thousand foot marker, so, and it's going right down the middle, so I don't, it was kind of hard though, I thought. Let's go back to the middle. Yes! 1.1, so 1.19, almost 1.2. So the, obviously the center line was obviously the part that did really well. Obviously it was a bit of a harder landing than I would normally want, or it seemed like it was, but obviously it wasn't, it wasn't too terrible. Uh, but it, it's, it's definitely something that's doable. This is fun, I don't know. I thought it would be something different to try something different and try to go as fast as I could and uh, try to configure everything as fast as I possibly could. You will have to put the gear down because, again, I don't know if there's an anomaly where they think there's load relief on the gear. Uh, there, there is a speed which you can fly with the gear out and retract it, but I, I would just throw it out, throw the speed brakes, configure that however you want, but do those things first. You're going to need the auto brakes and the gear out straight away. And then you're going to want to come in as quickly as you can uh, and as low, as low as you can. And then once you get right over that train yard or maybe a little bit past it, I, I may just try this and keep going and uh, do a little bit past it and see how late I can actually go and configure everything. If you never saw the first Flight Sim 2020 video I did, check out this video here and you can see some of my terrible landings. If you want to see some awesome viral videos that I explain, check out this video up here. 
I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the blue side up.